This is London with VIP Trader and Bitcoin Spike. Let's go over some details about Bitcoin's bottom. What makes a bottom? Let's start with that. Also, what's the most crucial, critical level that's incoming on Bitcoin? I don't hear anyone talking about it. This is London, former hedge fund owner, private, not SEC, not financial advice. Let's dig into the details. In terms of the chart work, yes, we look at 15 wide. Guys, pro setup, just for the VIP. Welcome, guys, to a VIP weekend. Concluding up at that, huge success, first of all. Let's take a look at our indicator. What have we been looking at on our indicator, the four hourly buy line? Let's dig into this a little closer now. The four hourly buy line has been consistent enough. You'll see on the right hand side, I've got the DXY. The DXY, right into this area, level of support, resistance, and expansion. We're going to be looking at that level of expansion as a typically bullish pattern for the DXY. I'm looking at a target to the upside. I just said it to the upside for the DXY. It's a wedge tactic. We'll need confluence to recoup the apex of the descending wedge. You guys got that right. That demand agreement between the buyers on support sellers on resistance looking to see if the dxy can get out of this bullish pattern boom to the upside it would bring a bit of caution to the traders obviously just even consider something along those lines with the inverse correlation of the dxy and typically bitcoin guys typically bitcoin can break the mold in terms of the red cap line you see along the bottom here the red cap line i've been preparing the vip you see this red notion here i've been preparing the vip for a hit a re-hit on the 20 moving average which yes we hit that today guys congratulations to the vip we re-hit that 20 moving average on the daily critical part of the bollinger band is whether or not we hold the 20 moving average okay or we capitulate at which time technically speaking for the uh, traders who are looking at the Bollinger Bands, guys, we're going to be looking at a downside target of that lower band. Now, we said that we would talk about two things today. First, the typical orchestration or the typical formation of a bottom. What is typically a bottom going to involve? It's not my opinion. I'm going to read it out of the New York Institute of Finance, where Wall Street traders literally go to school. Guys, pro traders, the top, top, top pro traders, not the one you might find here or there, the top pro traders go to New York Institute of Finance. Now, let's talk about it. You need a pre-existing trend. One. You guys check out page 101, okay? Pre-existing trend, okay? Work this in. A first signal would be breaking of a trend line. Got that. We're going to touch on one issue here. Uh, I always say the larger the pattern, the larger the expected move. We're going to note that. Then, as we talk about bottoms, typically involve a longer duration, guys. A longer duration along support guys along that level of support that's built up longer typically if we would look at this longer typically it would take longer than a top formation very interesting and as we would look at volume this is what i want to focus on guys number six requirement would be volume you guys measure out the residual of those the one two three four five okay volume you guys got that right look at your daily chart I want you to look as we challenge in the second part I want to bring up today and shout out to all the VIP if you want to join the number one trade group. I'll tell you this, guys, and I'm going to just stop it here. If you want to beat the market, and I tell you, how are you going to beat it? It ain't going to be with the Discord group and 40 bucks or 60 bucks or 20 bucks. It's going to be with the right team and New York Institute of Finance. You want to bring the heat? You want to trade like a pro? You get on in here. Use their materials, okay? And bring it the right way. We're not a Discord slough off kind of group, guys. Uh, go spend time in those groups, and I'll tell you one thing, you'll find out some of the wrong guys hang out in those groups. We're very selective about VIP, without a doubt. Now, volume, right? In terms of that, volume. Want to talk about volume, take a look. Let's dig into, look at the left-hand side. Let me bring this down just a touch. I want to focus on volume. As you see throughout Guys, the charts here, and I always recommend that you look at this on a big screen TV, without a doubt, guys. I tell you that all the time, big screen TV. See the volume up in this level. Bam. Preceding like, preceding cycles, preceding cycles. Nice volume accumulation on in with, bam. Nice run up, pre-existing cycle, bam. Nice volume accumulation, there we go, pre-existing cycle. Here, yeah, we had some volume. It was volume, but it looks like it looks like it was stepped back just a touch. I'll admit that, and we need to we need to include that in terms of our assessment. But I want to bring you in terms of volume. Where are we at, guys? Looks like we have barely, barely even scratched any kind of a surface. Barely scratched any kind of a surface. You guys know that it's light. 
to say it's light. Suspicion running rampant about this uh, 2023 January, uh, that January uh, pump that we've gotten on risk on assets. People wondering, is it just the shorts covering? Okay, is it just shorts covering position right now? So that volume, I'm going to tell you, we're not going to head up without volume coming in. All right, now, as you assess volume, you can dig into your lower time frames. They will build into, let's say, the, uh, you know, your hourly, four hourly, et cetera, are going to build into your daily, okay? Uh, but as we talk about the second, pay attention, the second key ingredient, okay, that I want to talk about today in terms of the technical approach, please look at the following. And first of all, I want to just congratulate anybody who's been trading on our fire and ice, our custom coded, unique fire and ice. Okay, you've had one hit at the four hourly, boom, 4%, another hit during this consolidation. You guys remember, I brought you the first bull flag in this zone. Shout out to the VIP who are trading. Hey, guys, it's supposed to be a challenge. I'd love to see people who want to meet that challenge. In terms of the first hit on the four hourly buy line, boom, 4%. Second hit, four hourly buy line, boom, 6.49%. These are maxed out, guys. Third hit, bam, 7.86%. We have hit again. Okay, we've hit again. You're in the money. I'm going to tell you, anytime that your screen turns green, you have a decision to make. That's what I always tell VIP. If you're trading on the micro, if you want more than just one hit at a time, go for it, guys. Uh, at some point, we wonder whether or not the threshold is reached. How many times in a row can this level produce? It's been automatic, guys. If you participated in one, two, and three, and four, congratulations. You definitely had that profit here on the fourth hit to go ahead and play some ball with the market. Now, this is the second part. What I want to talk about now is the second part, most critical feature of Bitcoin. You guys know this, most critical feature of Bitcoin in terms of macro analysis. What is this line I have here? You guys, go ahead, go to your indicators, type in heat map. Okay, you're gonna find an indicator by low skill. Okay, believe it or not, it is by low skill all right we're going to use it i've looked at it uh quite a bit and it is accurate it's the 200 weekly and shout out to low skill appreciate that there's some other ways to get it but i like the coloring that uh, low skill put on his indicator uh take a look at that 200 weekly average please pay attention guys critical critical played support the entire time guys in but intermittent uh, i'd say intra cycle bam look at this just put it on your screen guys you know, in VIP, you guys know we have paid attention to the 200, but boom, but bam, capitulation, near capitulation, guys, in this, uh, in this preceding uh, march down, what was that from? It about 13.8, uh, uh, that intermittent kind of a fake out cycle to retest this zone here. But yes, let's look at that on the lines. You see that on the lines grab, bam, on the daily. The 200 is a big, big deal. And I would just say this. The 200 weekly has been up until this point here, up until our attempt to get up and over recently, that 200 weekly moving average, right? Attempt to confirm up and above. You guys know after that capitulation, this level was huge, huge day trading. You see that 200 weekly moving average. This is the second most important component that we are looking at today. Shout out to the VIP who are using our custom indicator. Guys, I love when you guys are successful. And I'll just tell you, that's a VIP way to be uh, in terms of uh, always confirmation, right? Always confirmation. Sticking to the fundamentals, i.e. New York Institute of Finance looking at right now as I prepared you guys for that rehit at that specific 20 moving average, okay, that we're currently on right now. Understanding bulls need to hold price up and above this level or we're going to be looking at a downside target. Matter of fact, guys. Matter of fact. So critical level. But I bring up that 20, okay, because orders have already engaged at this level long they've already traded at this level that 20 moving average long coincides perfectly with our four hourly buy line as you were to look at where i'm going to say bulls if you're going to look at the level you need to achieve undoubtedly you need to conquer the specific and guys people will argue that we're not even in play yet you want to talk about bull run or not 20 4008 Six two. That is the magic number. Twenty four thousand eight six two. That is your two hundred weekly heat map. I would tell you until we get above the twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars, guys. Until you get above that heat map, 
we're not even in contention for the bull run. We're not even, it's, it's really based upon the, the historical here. It's, it's, it's not even, guys, it's just not even tangible that we would be considered. I'll tell you, the bull runs have begun from that level. Uh, but guys, we need to be operating above that level without a doubt. It's not even in question, guys. The, the longer that we stay underneath, please pay attention. The longer that we stay underneath the specific 200 weekly, we begin to risk the 200 weekly beginning to point to the downside, which could be really, really pl uh, problematic. That would be a, a, an issue of a uh, first instance that we would have the 200 weekly actually directionally pointing to the downside. We need this to continue to point up just so that you guys know. So right now between the 20, okay, between the 20 and the specific 200 weekly moving average, the 20 moving average, daily moving average, we're right on it. Okay, orders have engaged. I know VIP have traded already in line with, and guys, this is a great moment for Bitcoin, great moment for the markets, looking at the DXY, at the expansion. Now, if you trade with, with, with us, with VIP, you know this is a blackjack move. Boom, beautiful blackjack move, right? You guys look at your charts. This would be DXY again, the dollar index. Nice blackjack move, boom, up and out. You guys know this is a bell pattern formation, expanding wedge. These like to rock. Bitcoin likes to rock them. You understand the risk affiliated with an upside DXY to this zone. At some point, I mean, we'd like to see, I just like to see for purposes of volatility, DXY recover a touch. Now, it's only off about, what is this, 12%? 12, yeah, right at 12.04%. So DXY has is, 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 is been okay, guys. Um, dollar had such a rush to the upside with an expansion that lasted quite a bit. You guys know that. Push the notion of an upward expansion really beyond. You guys know that. And as you look at the DXY, uh, maybe too much information on DXY, but yes, what I brought to the VIP was the following. Level of support, level of resistance. Yes, you see a beautiful channel framework. Boom, boom. This is on the monthly chart. Explains the DXY better than any other chart right now. You guys know that. So in terms of where we are at, I want to encourage VIP who have hit our four hourly buy line again. I want to encourage you. Guys, if you're working with profit, beautifully well done. Always be prepared for lower levels, right? 22,000 right now on the daily, 22,000. That's a real line, guys, 22,000 for Bitcoin. Green buy line on the daily, I'll just tell you guys, will be 19.5. That's it, calculated. You guys understand, former hedge fund owner, not financial advice, okay? Doomsday scenario, 15, it'd be about 14.69, okay? 14.69 right now on the daily. If we could get a 14.69 pickup, I think, guys, we'd be, uh, we'd be doing okay. Uh, bottom line, we're going to be trading on the micro. We'll dictate the macro. You guys know this. The micro will dictate the macro. And so what we're looking at here is a bell pattern formation. Yet again, we call them a bell because of the expanding nature of it. Let me go ahead and draw this in for you guys. Anytime that we get a breach along a level of support. Guys, this breach area is a fantastic area to pick up in, generally speaking. Never overexposed. Always eh, ready to cover your position. Ready to double down. Guys with tight stop losses, etc. Let me just tell you, 72% of the time, 72% of the time, we would see a break of this level of resistance. Okay, 72% of the time, based upon the last 40 years. That's not a made-up figure, guys based upon the last 40 years, okay? We're gonna see that breach of the resistance. We'd like to ultimately see the break of the resistance across the top, drawn out here with a larger expansion in play. We will note for the record, we have a, I'd say differentiated level of support across the bottom. Very nice to operate along this level, guys, and we can make that a bit more extreme in terms of the micro versus the macro, the key fundamental I'd like to say is I bring up something with the New York Institute of Finance. Is it to be boring? No. But I see so many people who operate outside of a book like this in a discord or otherwise. And what do they do? They get hurt, guys. They get hurt. Read the money management tactics. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Read the New York Institute of Finance. Read where Wall Street goes to school. Just check it out. See what they're plugged into in terms of you guys got it. In terms of your trade amounts, 
So all the hype starts to flow in the markets. People get together in a discord or chop shop, whatever it is. Next thing you know, half of them are insolvent. Bam, wiped out. Guys, pay attention to what the pros pay attention to. Laser focus. You got some extra time? Dig in. Dig in, guys. Looking forward, guys, to seeing what 2023 brings uh, to uh, bear for the VIP. This is London with Bitcoin Spike. 200 moving average, guys. 200 weekly moving average needs to be conquered, right? Without a doubt. No question needs to be conquered by the bulls. We're not even, in the, we're not even on the field yet, guys. It's like everyone's going out for the long, for the, for the touchdown. Are we even on the field? We got to get up above the 200 weekly moving average. You guys got it. All right. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. This is London with Bitcoin Spike and VIP Trader. Thanks for your time tonight. Hit the like button if you could. I don't always ask you guys to do that. We don't care about an algorithm. I want you guys to make money. I want you to do well in the market. Don't be overexposed. Okay. If you choose otherwise, go do it. Let me know how it works out, guys. I'll talk to you soon. This is London with Bitcoin Spike and VIP Trader. Join today from a desktop computer. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.